And you feel well for Boxing News, joined by Darren Barker. Darren, what a, what a night for that main event, Daniel Dubois defeating Anthony Joshua. What did you make of it? Yeah, he just bullied him, didn't he? Bullish from the from the off, landed that big shot. He didn't really recover, did he, Joshua? It was uh, a beatdown. You got to say it was um, it was just a, a man possessed. Daniel Dubois. It's funny. I mean, you see him marching to the ring. He was just so confident. Wasn't overawed. Went into the ring, a man sort of lifted of pressure, and and even the celebrations at the end, a little like I wouldn't say muted, but just as if as if he knew it was going to happen. Um, AJ just shell shocked, um, but yeah, uh, the event, the the festival which was tonight was incredible, or the festival was the week. It was remarkable from start to finish. That that was special. That was special, mate. Just on to ask you, sticking with the theme of um, Daniel Dubois, Anthony Joshua, after Daniel dropped him in the first round, did you feel like there was a way back into it for Anthony or did you feel like he just seemed to be going one way from there? You couldn't really ever rule him out, could you, because of the power and, uh, and everything else, the know-how and the experiences that he had had before. And, and then we were almost proven sort of right in some degree because he come back the knee just before he got knocked out. He landed a big right hand. I mean, that's knockout of the year done. Forget it. Stop, stop the, uh, stop the entries now. Finish. If you're Anthony Joshua, where to next? Is the rematch or or what the time? Views haven't been. It's, it's either uh, retirement or the rematch. Well, Darren, listen, we're doing this interview by Bins as, as Andy Scott just Stinks, pointed out. Everyone's it? running around. Smelly. Thank you. Safe travels Take back care. home.